This is the story of how my girlfriend saved me from a bear attack. How long has it been? We must have been on the road for hours. I'm looking out the window when... I get a notification and check my iPhone. Then I remember... What is this? The perfect anniversary date. Shit. There's no way I'm gonna make it back in time. She's not gonna be happy about this. Might if I make a call real quick? Good luck. Signal out here isn't too great. Cool. Why are we here again? We've been hearing a ton of gossip about it. A shotgun blast in the distance. The van shakes and Glenn is knocked off balance. I look outside the window. In the front, Wyatt and Valerie look out the window as well. Just trees and snow, peaceful, as if nothing happened, then... It took my son from me. Please, ma'am. We're doing everything we can. Obviously, it's not enough. The mom storms out. You think the bear man is Vlad? Gentlemen, can I help you? We awkwardly entered the sheriff's office. He's not a bear man. He's our friend. The bear man that's been terrorizing the town is your friend? No, well- What he means is, we're from Animal Patrol. We're here to help. Doesn't matter who you are. You don't want to go out there. We can handle ourselves. Can you tell us where you saw it last? Just past the edge of town, by a frozen lake. I'll go. You can't. You're too important. We're all equal here. Besides, I'm the reason he was caught. It's only right if I bring him back. I'll go too. Glenn nods to me with respect, then... Me too. It is my duty as sheriff. He nods to the sheriff as well. Us, Us too. too. No! The sheriff and Glenn exchange a look. Uh, I need at least two of us watching the station while we're gone. You two stay behind. We'll be fine. Alright, be careful out there. Steven? You're one of us, at least for now. I got you, bro. You know, this whole war thing, I still don't plan on taking sides. But if I had to choose, I don't know. These guys, maybe they aren't so bad. Why would Vlad be bothering the locals? Who knows what they did to him? I think this is far enough. The sheriff looks to Glenn. This is where he was last seen? I see something in the distance and walk towards it. A black shadow. The shape of a bear, but it stands up. Then a bear trap clamps around my leg. Ah! I look up and Glenn and the sheriff walk towards me. I'm stuck. Yo, help! The money? A deal's a deal. Glenn hands the sheriff a suitcase. Wait, that's the same one from... You lying traitor fake ass. Traitor fake ass? Maybe, but I'm no liar. I said I'd take you here. I didn't say anything about what I'd do after. Glenn signals to the sheriff. The sheriff raises his gun at me. You won't do it. You need me. Don't be so full of yourself. What I need is to make sure that you never join the order. And there's only one way to do that. He grabs the sheriff's arm. The sheriff is caught off guard and misfires the gun. Glenn steps forward and looks down at me. Finish him off. Then leaves. Hey, wait! The cold gets to me. My vision blurs. This is it for me. Then, a large bear-like man charges in. The sheriff shoots, 
but he's too slow. The man grabs the sheriff and tosses him. Wait, that's no bear. I know that guy. What happened? <sighs> Steven turned on me. He tried to take me out with the sheriff. But the bear man, he got both of them. I should have known Glenn would never just let me walk away. If I wasn't joining him, he didn't want me around, period. Well, spoiler alert, I survived, obviously. I'm here telling you this story, but only because I was rescued by an old friend. I wake up shivering. I look over and, just as I thought, it's Vlad. Looks like he's the bear man after all. What happened? I was being held somewhere. There was a man in a white lab coat. He was running some kind of experiment on me, but I managed to escape. I don't remember much else. Damn. Wait, you didn't hurt that little boy, did you? Vlad looks down in shame. A tear comes down his cheek as he remembers. He was walking through the forest, carrying a bundle of wood. He arrives at his campsite and drops the wood onto the fireplace. He hears a branch snap and looks up. A boy is watching him. Suddenly, he turns around and runs away. Vlad runs after him. Wait, it's not safe up there. The boy is looking back while running and he falls into the lake. Help! Vlad charges towards the lake to try and save him, but a bullet shoots right by him and nips his arm. Vlad stops and looks. The sheriff has a gun aimed right at him. Vlad runs away. In the distance, the mom watches Vlad escape while her boy is drowning in the river. All I ever wanted was to escape my boring life. Something new, exciting. But now, I just want to see my wife and kids again. I'd give anything to have my boring life back. It's not over. We're gonna make it back home. But how? Everyone's hunting me, even the sheriff. There has to be a way. I get a notification and check my iPhone. It's the same reminder from earlier. I have an idea. You're missing our anniversary? No, I just need you to pick me up. I'm not sure if you remember, but we booked a flight tour. Exactly. The plan was simple. The flight tour is booked for 7 p.m. Anastasia will go on the tour alone. Then she'll ask the pilot to fly north. At the same time, Vlad and I will head over to an open field nearby. Once the plane is right above us, Anastasia will point us out to the pilot. If he sees us stranded, he has to land and rescue us. Basically, I can help Vlad escape and make it back in time for the day. Genius. Are you dumb? I'm sharing my location with you. I am not doing this. Oof, you're cutting out. Don't you dare. Uh, I'm losing you. Uh, see you at 7. I hang up and check the time. 6 p.m. We have an hour. There's only one problem. The sheriff's office is right in between us and the field. Hurry. Look, down there. Up ahead, down the hill, there's an opening in the trees. We start walking faster. So what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? <laughs> oh, barbecue some steak and hug my kids. <laughs> A bear trap clamps right into Vlad's leg. Shit! It starts beeping. Who's there? I rush over and try to free Vlad. It's no use. I look around for something to help with. Nothing but trees and dirt. Looks like I finally caught you. 
Then, a plane appears in the distance. It must be Anastasia. Go. Leave me here. No way. I'm not leaving you behind. It's getting closer. Steven, thank you. For everything. Suddenly, Vlad pushes me. I tumble down the hill, and I hit the ground. I can't believe this guy. Steven! I turn around and it's Anastasia. She opens the door of the plane. Hurry! I look back into the forest. I run towards the plane and jump in. A gunshot fires in the distance. Let's go! The pilot starts the plane. Then, the sheriff emerges from the forest. He aims his gun at us. We take off. He shoots. Our plane swerves and his bullet barely misses. There isn't always a clear right or wrong. Sometimes, not everybody makes it out. All I can do is make sure my friend Vlad didn't sacrifice himself for nothing.